In this video, we're going to give you five tips to stop your blue healer from biting and nipping. Blue healers are strong, loyal, brave dogs that are super cool. They can be great herding and working dogs, or they can be great family dogs as well. They're protective and love to be around the family. But they can have a problem with biting and nipping, and that goes back to their herding days when they would herd cattle and get them moving by biting. So they have a strong, instinctual nature to bite. So in this video, we'll tell you how to stop that and correct that fast. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We make dog videos that are educational and entertaining. So by the end of this video, you'll know how to correct your blue healer from biting and nipping so that you guys can go on to have a happy, long, healthy life together. The number five tip and the most important no matter what you're doing with your blue healer is exercise. These guys have a lot of energy and they need exercise. They need two hours of rigorous activity a day. So they don't want to just be left out in the backyard. These guys want to play with you. They want to play fetch. They want to run. They want to go on different adventures. They're up to do just about anything and they want to be with their owner. So the first thing to do is to make sure that you get your dog enough exercise. This will take care of that pent up energy so they're not inside tearing up your furniture biting you and they'll be less mouthy because they won't have all that pent up energy. Size will also calm down their brain so they're more easily trained so as you try to help and train your dog to prevent them from biting and nipping they'll be more receptive to it if they are calmed down a little bit and getting all that pent up energy out of their system with regular exercise will go a long way in your ability to train your blue healer not just with biting and nipping but other tasks that you need done thanks to the smarts of the blue healer they can learn just about anything the number four tip is to yelp at your blue healer Yelping is done inside the litter when litter mates bite one another. They yelp to say that that's not okay and that that hurts. So when a blue healer bites or nips at you, you can yelp to redirect their attention and say that that's not okay. So by yelping, you redirect their attention and then you move away. It's a quick signal to your blue healer that that's not okay and you don't have to go on and on with different noises and to yell at your dog. A quick yelp will get the message across that that's not okay. So be consistent with your yelp over time to tell them that doesn't feel good. I don't want you doing that and you look away to say this is not what gets you affection and this is not okay. So yelping is our first tip to stop biting and nipping. The number three tip is to trade a toy with your blue healer. Trade a toy with whatever they're biting. It could be you, it could be something else that you don't want them to have, like a shoe or something. Trade one of their toys immediately. This allows you to let them know that there are things that they can definitely bite on. You understand that they need to bite, they have the urge to chew on things, but it's okay to do it with their toy and their toy only. You'll be amazed at how quickly a blue healer picks this up. They are incredibly smart and they'll know the difference between their toys and shoes and other things that you don't want them on. It can seem overwhelming and it may seem that a blue healer will never get it, but they will. Be consistent with the Yelp and then trade a toy and a blue healer over time and quicker than you may think will know exactly what their toys are and will be able to chew on those rather than the things you don't want them chewing on. Number two is no affection. This means that you want to give your dog affection at the right times. Remember, when you pet your dog and show affection, you're telling them this is what you like. So the mistake people make is when they're being bit or when the blue healer nips at you, they try to calm it down by rubbing it or petting your dog. This is exactly what you don't want to do. When you do that, you're nurturing that behavior and telling them that, yes, it's okay to bite me when in fact that's totally wrong. So you want to yelp, look away, and don't show any affection. Be very cognizant of when you show affection to your blue healer and make sure you never show them affection when they're biting or when they're nipping or when they're chewing on something that you don't want them chewing on. One tip and the most important tip is that you need to be calm, assertive around your blue healer. Your blue healer is a direct reflection of your energy. So it's natural for you to be upset, 
angry, frantic, anxiety-ridden when a blue healer is biting or nipping at you. But remember to stay calm, confident, and assertive with your blue healer. Give them direction with the Yelp. Look away. Be strong and calm, and your blue healer will respond to that. The mistake a lot of people make is they get so emotionally tied up and when, when a blue healer is biting or nipping, and I don't blame them, but just remember, stay calm, assertive, and over time, your blue healer will quickly, quickly learn when it's okay to bite, when it's okay to chew, and that you and your family will live a long, happy, healthy life together when your blue healer learns it's not okay to chew on furniture, shoes, and other people. Stay calm, confident, and your blue healer will get the message, get the direction, and be a great dog for a long time to come.